the number one reason you shouldn't buy a bike is all right ladies gentlemen circles whatever you are sorry i've been gone for a minute at spring break and work's been busy sh that. but we're we're back we're on it the weather's getting way nicer so that's something i'm going to be taking advantage of we're going to be talking about some dumb sh today who doesn't love that um this was something that i kind of had to figure out when i was getting into riding that took me a minute i think it's something that kind of affects every young fella that wants to get into riding and as far as i know that's pretty much my whole demographic right now so i love talking to you guys i love reading the comments and whatnot but you guys are at risk for simp syndrome when it comes to bikes i don't know if that's really the best way to describe it but that's what i'm gonna run with for now is Here's the thing, the number one reason you shouldn't buy a bike is to impress women. Here's the thing, what I see happen a lot is you have dudes who will buy a bike thinking it's going to get them a ton of bitches from day one. And that's not really how it works. My opinion on it is that bikes can work really well if you want to get girls. However, it's like that's not why you should want to ride. You should want to ride because you love it. And because like there's just just something in your head that says bike. I need one. I want a bike. Um but like bikes can be kind of an interesting thing. You know, they add to you as a person that's kind of an interesting thing not a whole lot of dudes ride motorcycles you know in totality of the united states populace i guess you know so saying that you can do that is kind of neat my rule when it comes to bikes is very simply if you want to use your bike to get girls you have to be the type of guy that can already get girls without a bike. And what I mean by that is... If you have your life together, you know how to talk to girls, you're a charming individual, you're, you're, you're growing, you're trying to constantly better yourself, you're self-improving all the time. Like, a bike is just kind of a bonus thing on that. But if you're a fat, lazy piece of shit, it isn't really going anywhere with their lives. I'm sorry to be blunt. I know it's probably gonna hurt somebody's feelings, but I'll be I'll be honest with you guys. Like if you're just some fat dude and you kind of work a dead end job, you're not really going anywhere, and you just smoke weed all day, like all the bike does is just try to mask those problems. It doesn't really get you any better at being attractive is what I'm really getting at so if you're you know a teenager you're 15 14 whatever like number one thing I'd say first to do is hit the gym go to the gym and, and learn how to lift some weight learn good technique build some muscle put some some discipline in your life that's step one right step two Learn how to communicate well. Learn how to be funny. Learn how to compliment people and be somewhat outgoing. You know, because all these little things, you know, if you're already like, like let's say you, you, I don't know, you take care of your skin. If you're a clean individual. That's a great place to start. You get a bike. Oh, cool. He's a, some handsome dude who knows how to talk to people, who's working on his career or working on his school. And he rides a motorcycle, that's just kind of a bonus cool thing. On the flip side, you're not really going anywhere, you're just kind of, you know, just 
a dude and you're like, oh yeah, I can't get any girls right now, but just wait until I get a bike. No, 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 no. It's kind of like money. Like if you're a dork and you end up getting a lot of money, it doesn't necessarily mean that girls find you more attractive. You're still the same person. It just amplifies those things, those traits that you already had. Because now you can be a dork. You, now, now you're just a rich dork. You can be a dork at a higher level. So you're a dork and you ride a bike. Cool. Maybe that gets you a little bit of points, but it's not. It's not what's gonna get you get you where you want to be so how do we fix this like I said go to the gym take care of your skin be clean take care of your hair whatever um, learn how to communicate and and I think the cool thing about bikes is that they can kind of lead to a lot of these things already happening for you because you meet a lot of people through ride bikes you learn how to be disciplined with learning how to ride better so you can apply those same things to apply it to the gym. Apply it to, like all the research that you guys are doing, I mean, you're watching this video right now, that tells me that you're trying to learn and be better and grow. Apply that same thing to every other aspect of your life, and then you throw a bike on top, it's like, hallelujah, you got, you got a ton of bonus points with the ladies. Just for being who you are and doing what you're normally doing, and you just throw something that is generally considered attractive into the mix. Kind of like tattoos too, you know? If you are the exact same dude and you're, you know, chubby and unattractive or whatever, and you throw some meh tattoos into the mix, you're, uh, you're still semi unattractive. you're just an unattractive dude with tattoos same concept so like really I, I think it's a really thing to kind of ex a really easy thing to kind of explain but it's a it's a mistake that a lot of guys make when they get into riding is thinking that oh my gosh I'm gonna get this harem of women when I buy a motorcycle and it's just not the case but Let's say you are already doing all those things. You're going to the gym, you're keeping clean, you're getting your money up, all those great things, and you learn how to ride. The way that you can kind of amplify that in terms of how other people perceive you, specifically women, or you know, if you're interested in dudes, that same same kind of concept. Um, the way that you kind of apply that, I would say, is social media. If you can show, um, if you have a, a sweet Instagram, it's like, you got Instagram that shows off your muscles, shows off your bike, shows you doing some cool stuff. That's pretty neat. Now you can, like, you have something that people can look at and go, okay, here's a broad snapshot of what that person looks like. And yeah, like, it's kind of a highlight reel. But, you know, still still helpful is what I'm saying. Because if you, you get a bike and, you know, you're handsome, you're attractive, and it doesn't change what you're working with in terms of women or your relationships, then you're just applying it wrong is what I would say. Because it absolutely can help you. It just shouldn't be the driving factor that gets you um, gets you attention from the opposite gender. What's up, buddy? Is that a cover or is that part change? What's that? Is that a cover or is it carbon? It's just the bearings. Yeah. yeah. The the tank isn't carbon. What's? Yeah, dude, it's all fucked up. I gotta get a new one. Yeah. I had no idea what he just said. It's a pretty sweet little uh, little cruiser setup. I don't know shit about Harleys. I don't 
think it's really that difficult, but nobody really likes to say it. So I see a lot of guys get bikes and then they get hurt because they don't actually want to put the time in to learn how to ride because all they're trying to do is show off and that's not really the way to go about it, you know? It's like you wouldn't get a, if you had the money to, to buy a Ferrari or something, you wouldn't buy a Ferrari that is like a track only variant just so that you can attract other people. You'd, you'd probably want to learn how to ride that thing, or I'm sorry, drive that thing. And I think it really, it really all ties back into like mitigating your ego when you're riding. Cause you gotta be able to just kind of silence that for a little while. Especially when you're learning too. You know, you're at your high school or whatever, you pull up and there's some, some girl that you like is standing outside and you go to pop a wheelie and you fucking loop it. I've, I've done it. It's, um, it's not fun. What's the point of a helmet on your saddlebag? What's the point of a three-quarter helmet in the first place? I do like that van, though. Anybody else just want to, like, buy a camper van or a van like that, turn it into a camper and just, I don't know, just leave? It'd be kind of a neat, neat lifestyle for a little while. Anywho, like I said, um, I've been super busy lately, work stuff, spring break, um, I turned 20 the other day, so that's weird, I just feel a little bit older, but, um, you know, all good things, all good things. I like that you guys are enjoying the videos, I hope you are, um, I hope it's, it's helpful to some of you guys, I like reading those comments that are, you know, they're encouraging to me for sure, and they're also, uh, indicative that I'm actually helping people with some information that is useful. Um, so if you did find whatever I say useful, you know, stick around. I'll talk about some other fun things, but really right now I'm just kind of talking to the new riders, because you guys are the guys that need the most help with stuff, whatever it is. So. Put in the comments things that uh, I should talk about, and I'll talk about them. Um, there was a comment about maintenance that I saw. Somebody wanted me to talk about how to how to maintain your bike well and all that. So that'll be coming at some point because I, I actually got to replace my push cable. But we'll we'll go over some general maintenance rules that I kind of follow. My bike is sitting at 60 something thousand miles an hour. 60,000 miles an hour. 60,000 miles on the odometer. Um, so, you know, I, I think I've, I've maintained this engine fairly well. Like the other gentleman so graciously pointed out, my fork seals are boned right now. And I've just been too lazy to go buy the tools to fix it. So, I gotta do that at some point, but... I think that's... That's all I really have to say for today, guys. I don't know really what other things to talk about. Lose your ego. Build up your... Lose your ego when you're on the bike, per se. Build up your self-esteem, keep growing, keep getting better, and uh, the bike will just kind of be a, a fun thing that, fun thing about you, it's not the, it's not the end-all be-all that gets you, uh, gets you laid, you know, but I don't know, I'll probably leave it there, guys, so thank you for watching, um, see that red button down there, you should probably click it. If you like if you already got to this point you should probably click that button because you like what i say enough to to stick around this long so uh yeah guys see you later peace